off to the next paragraph. All right, you decide 2008. We've been talking about the great debate last night out in the West Coast. We've heard what they said, but what did their bodies say? Yeah, Gretchen? a lot in the way their eyes are doing whatever they're doing in their hands. And joining us now from Atlanta is body language expert Patty Wood. Good morning to you, Patty. Good morning. All right, so if you analyze all 10 of these guys last night up there, who do you think stood out based on body language? Um, Romney, of course, he won for most attractive. And in, in image management, you look for credibility, likability, attractiveness, and power. And he definitely won on both the credibility and attractiveness, just his presence and his great position in that far left position where they kept calling on him first yeah. made him stand out. You know what? He also kind of looks like a president. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, Rudy. Well, he is incredibly likable and very, very honest. Part of that is nonverbal communication. You want somebody to feel something, show it nonverbally, and say it. That's the correct order for somebody looking honest and credible. And Giuliani always does that. He's so comfortable in his skin. He's so likable. He was very relaxed last night. Most people were really surprised by that, but he seems yeah. so at ease and comfortable answering the questions. No I wonder, stress at all. I wonder if that's going to be a positive or negative, though, because a lot of people see him in a more forceful way. Yes. Mo moving yes. on, yeah, and that struck me. Moving on to McCain who used a lot of his hand, sort of like he did. A, a chopping. It he, was, did look, he was slicing and dicing the whole night. He also did a lot of shooting with his hand as well. He really used anger to motivate his nonverbal behavior. Usually he's so lackluster. He has so few nonverbal cues that there's no energy around him. He's not compelling or interesting to watch. Mm. But last night, I don't know whether they coached him or what, but boy, was he angry. He used all of that to look much more energetic than I've ever seen seen him and I, I just watched six hours of tape of him yeah. last week and really looked different last Patty, night. Patty, with John McCain, uh, after he was talking about tracking down Osama bin Laden, uh, chasing him to the gates of hell, yes, he, had, he had kind of a weird grin at the end. He does a lot of that weird grin and that actually reduces his credibility significantly because it sends what's called a mixed message non-verbally and we tend to believe that last cue, the smile, so it takes away the seriousness of the, of the words that come before it. Um, really affects him uh, and his credibility, as well as his rapid blinking. Normal mm -hmm. blink rate is 20 blinks per minute. Right. He blinks a lot. It could be dry eyes, but it does affect his credibility, makes him look a little bit dishonest. And Patty right. Wood, body language expert, what does our uh, body language tell you right now? That there's, yeah, there's a commercial? Good time, right? And there's a commercial coming up. <laughs> Patty, thanks for joining us today from Atlanta. All right, fascinating stuff. Coming up on our show, she was trying to rush to the